guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm bringing you a um, transitional, transitional video. Something that I like to watch on YouTube and something that's really useful when you struggle a bit in between seasons. I want to show you the clothes I'm going to be wearing in the next few weeks and how I style them. So I will include some tips on how to put things together. There's going to be lots of layering, uh, lighter and a bit heavier, um, depending on the weather. Oh yes, and uh, please don't forget, you don't need new clothes for in between seasons. So like now going from winter to spring, it's all about utilizing the things you have in your wardrobe. Uh, styling things in a bit different way, it's about layering, about putting things, uh, like putting extra things, taking things away and uh, changing your shoes. That's it, that's really so simple. Right, so I prepared a lookbook, actually I'm very proud of it, so I hope you're gonna like it. Please let me know which uh, outfit was your favorite and what is your favorite transitional outfit formula. Um, that can be really useful for all of us. Please um, give your thumbs up uh, and subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. Um, I'm very happy to chat with you in the comments. Okay, thank you very much and let's get started. The most reoccurring category in this video is definitely knitwear. Since we are still one foot in the winter, I wear it a lot in different form and shape. Beige jumper and white jeans is such a great base. Warm, but thanks to the light colors, doesn't feel too heavy and overwhelming. You can wear it on its own with a fedora hat. And for those uh, colder, windy days, a light wool coat or leather jacket will keep you warm. You can't go wrong with a classic blue jean and white shirt. Combined with a beige trench coat, it feels very Parisian. Black boots for colder days and loafers when it gets warmer. Cashmere jumper over the shoulders is a great element in this transitional season. Use it as a scarf or wear it when you get chilly. Spring and summer is usually dominated by beige and white, but don't forget light grey is one of the most versatile and flattering colours and one of my favourite shades. Don't be afraid to wear turtlenecks in spring. As long as they are made from lighter, breathable material, you'll stay cool and look chic. I would go for cotton, silk or lilacell. Here I paired it with my white jeans again. It creates this beautiful light look. You can either create tonal outfit with grey blazer or add some contrast with black jacket and black accessories. I'm not a big blue jeans wearer, but I feel like I reach for them mostly in spring. This kind of knitted vest has been very popular in the past few years. Um, well, sometimes it takes me a while to accept a trend, but at least I know it will stay in my wardrobe for good. It's gonna be a staple piece in the summer, but for now I wear it with a blazer or leather oversized jacket. Of course you can add a shirt or white tee underneath for more layers. Black tailored trousers is an all year round staple in my wardrobe. I love them for versatility and comfort. This is a vintage pair from men's department. You can easily take them from winter to spring using different accessories and shoes. You can choose any top you like, white tee, a shirt or mentioned before, white vest. We can finally wear trench coats, yay! Again, a very timeless element plus white sneakers. I find myself wearing hats more in spring and summer. Winter is reserved for beanies. I love this combination of fedora and sneakers, it's very cool. And finally midi skirts with bare legs, my favourite. I know it's still cold, but there are ways to style them for this transitional season. A grey blazer is more formal and lighter option. With bare legs, 
I make sure I keep my top half nice and toasty and a big oversized jumper is perfect for that. Surprise, surprise, it's my husband's. And for an extra layer, I add my black leather jacket. I don't know about you, but spring screams beige and white to me. I'm not really drawn to florals this time of year. Maybe in summer dress form a little bit later. I wore these lightweight wool and linen trousers in the winter with my wool coat, as you can see here. But they're gonna be great in the warmer days too. Here is a lighter version of the same look with a leather jacket and loafers. I hear stripes are trending this season, groundbreaking. So to stay trendy, I'm gonna throw my old but well-loved striped jumper over my shoulders. And here is something that aligns with dopamine dressing trend. There are some days when I like to add a pop of color into my outfit. The only two non-neutral jumpers in my wardrobe are sage green and this electric blue cashmere TK Maxx find. For colder days with boots and coat and when it gets nice and sunny, I'll wear it on its own with my backless loafers. It always cheers me up and it looks great with my favorite white jeans. I must say, I feel a little bit like a smurf here. But I can see why this trend is so popular. These vibrant colors really make you feel great. I couldn't not include an all black outfit here. I love black, especially in spring and summer when you can show more of your skin so that the color is not overwhelming. Also, loose trousers and linen shirt keep it light and nonchalant. On a slightly cooler day, you can add a blazer or beige trench coat. And you guessed it, a jumper over the shoulders. Whoever invented it is a genius. Well, denim is trendy this spring, just like any spring. And this base, meaning white crisp t-shirt and trousers, could be very formal if paired with heels and blazer. For a smart casual look, I just wear my vintage Levi's jacket and white sneakers. That's the beauty of a capsule wardrobe. With wide leg pants, I decided to wear fitted white vest to avoid too much volume and bulk. Blue shirt is great in any season, but there is something fresh and crisp about the pinstripe that just works in spring. Again, I have two options here. Um, the first one is something I wore for a school drop-off this morning, so I needed a cozy jumper and comfy shoes. And the second one is more refined and chic. White jeans and blue shirt is a match made in heaven. Don't you agree? I know it looks very light, but you could still, I mean light in terms of uh, layers, but you could still wear it on a chilly day with an oversized navy blazer or beige trench. Timeless look and beautiful colors. All white is a timeless and chic look. Whether you choose formal suit or jeans and t-shirt like here. This kind of look is a great base for any style direction. You can go crazy with colors or prints, but I love it with my trench coat, both beige and green. I discovered this formula last year when I finally found my dream white jeans from COS. This is a second variation of this look. To keep it more tonal and put together, I paired it with my beige wool blazer and of course some stripes for contrast. As you can see, I couldn't decide on a bag. Which one would you choose, a beige or black one? First look is me being realistic in the early spring days. I hate being cold and cashmere jumper never fails. 
I love the combo of formal and structured wide leg trousers with soft and cozy jumper. Sunny days call for vests and light layers. It was one of my favorite go-to looks last spring and summer. As you can see, I defined my waist, but kept the overall look comfy and light. We already had something similar, but this time I wanted to use my black linen shirt and white jeans. I understand not everyone is a fan of contrast, and that's okay. Some people just look better in more muted colors, but black and white is definitely one of my favorite combinations. Again, I have two options for you. The first one is very classic with a beige trench coat. And the second one I paired with my black blazer. Uh, so it's very monochromatic, which again, I love, but I decided to warm the look with a beige bag, with a beige tote and cashmere jumper over my shoulders. I think it looks really nice and a little bit more interesting. And number 15 is something I didn't plan, but I forgot how much I loved my pleated skirt, especially in spring and summer, worn with jumpers and shirts. So here is a footage from Arcade a few weeks ago. I know many of you struggle with styling a midi pleated skirt. I feel you. I had that problem for many years, but I didn't give up and you shouldn't either. The key to styling pleated skirt is to keep it modern and current. Don't wear them with heels or pretty blouses. Try to avoid feminine elements because that skirt is already very feminine. I like to add a masculine or sporty element and that usually works. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.